What's up guys, if you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to safembamt.com, use code BUGS for 5% off a checkout, and get that cheap, fast, reliable MT that you guys definitely need in this game. What's good YouTube? It's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video, and guys, today, we are going over the market as per usual. Before we do get into this video, man, please make sure to smash that like button, smash that sub button, guys. We're under 130, 140 subs away from 13K. If we hit 13K this week, we're doing like an a million empty giveaway next week. So, guys, if you want to be part of the giveaways, start showing the support now, man. We're very, very close to our goal of 13,000 subs before I would say like December 21st, man. We got like a week left. We have like a week left, guys. If all of you guys could please sub it up. If you guys watch 2K, if you guys want to make MT, please show support to my videos. It'd be appreciated. We're going to stream at around 2 o'clock Eastern. Um, we're probably going to do a giveaway on stream as well at 2 o'clock Eastern. Probably a 50K MT giveaway. And um, today, we get this free Giannis pack. We have a chance of getting Diamond or Pink on Giannis. The chances are probably 1%. But uh, as you guys know, my luck with Giannis is kind of crazy. So we're going to open this pack. If you guys need cheap, fast, reliable MT, hit me up. I am selling and buying MT. Um, I have millions of MT on Xbox and PS4. And look at that. We get Intimidator Gold. So I'm... Ooh, that's a W right there. So... Dude, Intimidator Gold is a very, very expensive badge. I'm pretty sure it's at least 10k. Um, so I'm gonna take that. Um, this is for the Giannis pack. We're gonna get into the market. Let's just see how much this Intimidator badge goes for. Trevor Reese is not a bad pull too for budget ballers. Um, guys, let's see how much this Intimidator badge goes for, man. Intimidator is always, always going for a decent, decent amount. So let's see. And okay, okay, not that, not that good. It's like 5k. I will take that, man. It's like a free 5k. I will take that, man. Not a bad pack, honestly. So, day. this is the only day of giving that they consider that it's actually good for me. But, yo, let's go over it, man. I don't think we're going to get new content till Thursday. I'm thinking spotlights tomorrow. So, today, we're going to have to grind a ton of spotlights. Let's go over the OG filter. Uh, I put up a bunch of Tommy G's for around 5k, and he didn't sell. Oh, some of them did. So, thank God some of them sold. I actually only have like three left, so if you guys want, I think Tommy G, it's time to sell him, man. Time to get rid of that investment and move on to better things. Let's look into our Hito Turkaloo, man. Let's check out this Hito Turkaloo, um, see what he's going for and whatnot. Let's see if he's worth investing in. Look at this, man. Hito Turkaloo for 5200 man. This Hito Turkaloo is going to be a dream investment, and I'm sorry, there is the garbage guy here. The garbage guy is here, so it might be a little bit loud for a little bit, but here we go, man. Pink diamonds let's see the season of giving filter is there a buyout yeah look at this so every single player is still not a buyout man they're still going for a decent amount of mt and honestly i'm surprised dirk Nowitzki is almost a buyout because he's not even in packs yet these pink dimes that aren't in packs they might go out and they release the set reward in wilt chamberlain i'm hearing it's galaxy over wilt chamberlain um so this is pretty interesting stuff man we have 70k xp pretty much um, we really, really got to go on the grind today, boys. Um, yeah, we're a little bit behind. You're going to see a lot of grind today on spotlights. Yesterday, I was trying to grind spotlights. I got lagged out of the challenge twice, and I also did XP for triple threat offline, and then I got screwed. So it's been a rough, uh, rough couple days with grinding XP, man. Not going to lie. But yo, here's another filter, man. I noticed that this Eddie Jones filter does kind of go crazy. I'm going to show you another filter that I've seen one of my subs go off on. Um, Eddie Jones filter. I'm honestly doing this filter just because he still impacts. There's going to be a, a probably an increase of drop in his price. So I'm probably going to do a lot of challenges this weekend. But uh, yo, the cheapest pink diamond filter I heard, one of, my, one of my subs got Jason Williams for 1K and got another player for 30K. I forgot what the 30K player was, but Jason Williams for, dude, he got him for 1K. I couldn't believe it. And I asked him, what filter did he do? He did pink diamond cheapest. So put your filter at around 48K. Which honestly, people might throw up. So you say he stayed on it for an hour. He got two snipes. He made around 200k on Pink Diamond cheapest. So stay on this filter for an hour. Let me know how it goes, man. Some people literally quit my team and just throw up their Pink Diamonds, or they just accidentally do it because they're not paying attention. In which I've thrown up a snipe before. Honestly, not paying attention. I've thrown up cards for 100k accidentally. So cards for this value, it might happen. Some kids are really dumb, or they're just not paying attention. 
or they just quit my team and they're like honestly forget this game i'd rather just sell my car for 1k let someone get it than just pop pack so um yeah ping time filter definitely something you want to pay attention to you never know when you're gonna get a snipe man the auction house is literally worldwide there could be bots just throwing up cards who knows but definitely try out this filter it's pink diamond cheapest now we're gonna go over ruby um we're gonna go over ruby draft pack because yo ruby draft pack sapphire draft pack these these are gonna be very 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 crazy filters man look at that man if you invested in rubies on friday ruby draft pack is up a ton look at this man wow so ruby draft pack wait no it's not draft pack it's ruby double take so my bad not ruby draft pack so let's see ruby double take um okay look at this man so let's see if these cards are worth investing in i say 1500 or lower and look at this man look at all these rubies i say put your filter to around 1300 1200 and just invest because they're gonna go up to 2k um these guys are definitely definitely good investments they're good for xp this bogus pretty good for xp too gives you a solid amount of xp and for 1200 mt man he's not really gonna go under that so 1250 any other rubies that pop up definitely worth the snag same with sapphire you'll be surprised man the sapphire cards in this are pretty good you got ai tracy i forgot the other card but i say these sapphire cards are pretty damn good at around 1300 look at this man ai is almost 1600 already so you get some for 14 1300 sell for like 18 already pretty pretty good profit if you ask me definitely keep an eye on this filter um here's another tip another tip man you want to this is mostly for like bunch of ballers as well ruby put it up to 850 bro ruby 850 this filter might be very goaded there's also another filter for budget bars it's just 700 or 750 or maybe just seven 700 is probably good so whatever pops up pretty much oh wow the 700 filter is ruined so 650 filter and wow there's even a lot of cards up here for 650 man this just shows that the auction is like no value if you want dante exa might not be a bad scoop you might even want to put your filter to around 600 600 for dante exum i'm gonna buy that i say his price goes up to 1k but yeah this filter is also not bad at all this is also another very good filter uh let's look at the other filters man small forward eastern um guys we gotta go hard on xp today small forward pink dot and eastern look at that john havlicek is no longer a buyout boys no longer buy out john havlicek there is like none on the auction so if you invested in him for like literally he's going for 50 60k about a week or two ago he's now not even on the market so congratulations if you invested you've made around 40k after reduction and uh, honestly that's really all we got for the vid i want to go over one more card see if we can scoop him up and make some mt off him um as you guys know man mono ginobili up and down constantly let's check it out and look at this man mono ginobili is around 82k not a good price to pick him up at I could have picked up like 100 at 60k or 50k not too long ago. But yo, that is all we got for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content. Um, definitely invest in those players I showed you. And um, that's really what we got. If you have any market talk questions, any questions whatsoever, man, let me know. Pay attention to range extender as well. Pay attention to diamond contracts. And that is all we got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.